Hi guys and welcome back to my channel, I hope you're doing really well. If you haven't seen me before, my name's Devon and I make videos about kind of everything and anything to be honest. So if you're into like beauty, fashion, hair, lifestyle, mental health, yeah things like that then, then come follow me on my channel. But today I thought I would talk about my hair care routine. So I've had a couple people actually ask about hair care routine and it's something that I've put a lot of a lot more effort into during lockdown. I went and got my hair cut for the first time after lockdown yesterday. I didn't get that much off if you can see I got about half an inch and I went in to the hairdresser and I had never seen her before. It was a new hairdresser. And I said to her, look, obviously through lockdown I've been doing my best. Take however much you need to take off the bottom to make it healthy. I don't care if it has to come up to here, just make it healthy. And while she was washing my hair was telling her all of these things that I've been doing and she was saying yeah I'm really impressed that's really great like she even at one point said you should work here like <laughs> you are giving me all the right things she was so happy and then when I said to her how much you take off my hair she said only need to take half an inch because you've done such a good job at looking after it hardly any of it's dead and that's someone who dyes their hair black like once a month I was so impressed that my routine had actually made a difference that I thought I would share it on YouTube just in case you want something yourself because it's the way I did it, I just watched a YouTube video or quite a few YouTube videos of girls looking after their hair to try and work out what was the best way for me to do it. So I thought I would just kind of take you step by step with the kind of things I use in my hair. Obviously everybody's hair is different. My hair's really, really super fine. It's dead straight when it's natural, and obviously it's heavily dyed as well. But yeah, let's just go through some of the things that I've been doing to look after my hair. Let's start at the beginning. So I wash my hair twice a week. I wash my hair on a Tuesday and Thursday night, or I try to, and that's because my hair's super dry. So I'm trying to encourage the natural oils to come out of my scalp and nourish my hair. My hair hardly ever gets oily. It only gets oily if I touch it a lot at the roots, otherwise it doesn't do it by itself. When I do wash my hair, I was wondering about these before, I use the OGX Thick and Full Biotin and Collagen Conditioner and Shampoo. These were for Amazon, they were £10 for the pair of them, which obviously at a fiver per bottle was quite expensive, but I wanted to pay the money, I want to look after my hair. So I use these to help get thicker and fuller hair. I pop these in twice a week. I normally use the shampoo once. I don't double shampoo unless there's like loads of product in and I know that there's loads of product in. I only shampoo the roots, so I put it in, I work it through the roots and then I rinse it. So you shouldn't really shampoo the ends of your hair. There's no need to shampoo the ends because they're, they're kind of dead anyway. They don't, they don't need to be fully cleansed and the water running the shampoo through the ends is enough for them. So I only shampoo once on the scalp, then I go in with my conditioner. I only condition from like the nape of my neck down, so I don't put any conditioner in my roots. Then I will twist it and put it up with a clip whilst I do the rest of my shower, and I rinse the conditioner out with cold water at the end of my shower. So it kind of sits there for about five minutes and it sort of deeply processes, and then I rinse it with cold water to try and get that shine. Once a week, I'll pop a hair mask in. So I will do that, but instead of wrapping my hair and pinging it up, I'll rinse the conditioner out straight away. This is the Osmo Blinding Shine Illuminating and Mask. It looks like this, it's just a nice thick white mask. Once a week I will put that in the ends of my hair and I'll tie that one up instead and this just helps, you know, make my hair shiny, more hydrated and it's quite important that you use a mask at least once a week to try and keep your hair nice and shiny because like I said, this part of your hair is already dead so there's not a lot of miracle work you can do to it but you can try and make it look the best as it can without, you know working a miracle. When I get out of the shower I brush my hair with a specific brush when it's wet. So this is the Tangle Teaser, it's a massive big paddle brush, it's got big plastic massively spaced bristles and this is for wet hair. So I only ever use this on wet hair, I don't use anything else and I brush this straight through and it gets rid of all the tangles. 
I find that this is just the easiest way. It has the least amount of breakage and I definitely recommend it. It is like £20, but it definitely has worked the best. So I brush it through with this. Then again, if it's one of my hair wash days, I then coat it in the Palmer's olive oil formula, leave-in conditioner for frizz prone hair. It looks like this, I've shown this before. I do a nice even spritz of this all over my hair, mainly focusing again on the ends rather than the top because I don't want to encourage too much oilness at the top. And then I'll brush this through again with the big paddle brush and then I will normally start my face routine so that can sink in a bit before I go on to the next step. The next step for me is my Argan Oil. So this is the Hask Argan Oil from Morocco. It's the 5-in-1 leave-in spray. It conditions the tangles. What else does it do? Adds shine, repairs frizz and adds thermal protection. Protection? Protection. So I spray this again throughout the hair. Then what I'll do is I'll brush this through one last time to make sure everything's really evenly distributed. And then I'll go in and I'll put it in a very loose plait in the back or sometimes two plaits down the side but not from the roots so I won't do a French plait I'll start from just here and then I'll plait down from there very loosely and I will tie it with a scrunchie because scrunchies don't damage hair as bad so this is just like these are from Primark they're just black material scrunchies there's no metal to it I use these to tie my hair because then we're not causing any breakage with metal bits or tighter scrunchies. I'll then sleep on a silk pillowcase. So I've got that in my bedroom. I'm not gonna bring it through because it's massive, but I've spoken about it before from Amazon, silk pillowcase reduces breakage, reduces frizzing, and that's what I sleep on every single night. Now onto a few things I use when my hair's dry. If I am gonna add heat to it, I never ever blow dry my hair. I always let it naturally dry. But if I'm going to curl it like I have, well, I've not really curl it, I've waved it today. I use the Schwarzkopf Got To Be Guardian Angel heat protection, which goes up to 220 degrees for blow dry and flat iron. I use flat irons to curl my hair. So I just use this to heat protect because I would never put heat on my hair without protection. If my hair is dry and I'm brushing my hair, I use this big paddle brush from the body shop. So it's more, um, again, it's spaced out, but it's more of the traditional like bristles. So I make sure I always use a paddle brush and I never back comb my hair because that causes mass breakage. And the final thing that I can say has contributed to my hair health is these tablets. These are the Perfecto Original Triple Active Skin Hair and Nail Tablets. I've spoken about these in depth before and they've got like tons and tons of ingredients. I take these every day, every evening and since taking these, it has made my hair so much healthier. It does take about three months worth to start seeing a difference. So I definitely recommend you persevere and keep taking them. But once you do, you see such a difference. I first noticed the difference in my nails, how quick my nails were growing, how often I had to clip them. Uh, it was like much, like twice as more than I ever did before. And then I started to notice how much thicker my hair was. So I definitely recommend taking hair supplements if you can. Obviously consult with your pharmacist, with your doctor, with a nurse before taking it. Um, just to make sure you are okay to take them but if you can then definitely I recommend the perfect deal these are about six pound I think six to seven pound and you get how many did you get 30 in there so you get a month's worth um, but I definitely swear by these every day so that's kind of everything that I do to look after my hair obviously going for regular trims now hairdressers are open every sort of six to eight weeks it's so healthy and you know not exposing it to heat without protection be careful of sun damage just be careful how you look at how you style it tight tight buns every day are going to cause breakage just tight hairstyles are going to cause your hair to fall out i definitely notice if i have it up in like boxer braids for a couple days i get so much hair loss so it's how you look after it to be fair but i really like how my hair's been i want to try and grow it a lot longer like down to here and which would be really nice but if, if I can't get there, I might just be able to stop where it is, but I'm happy with how it is at the moment. If you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and if you have, push the bell button so you get notified every time I upload, which for your information is every Sunday at 6pm. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you come back next week for another.